same standings. Matsuyama, Jason Day, Tom Kim, all sitting pretty in the top three. Nick Taylor, of course, in the field this week. As is, go wrong with those ten. Yeah, really Adam can't. Hadwin. Lower ticket seven, or six, excuse me. Corey Connors, you'd have to think, should certainly be in the mix for a possible captain's pick. The guy that's on the outside right now, Eric Van Roy, has been playing some very good golf, and, and Ryan Fox is very good. See the direction. Uh, as Shay Lowry rolls and rattles his birdie putt in. See the direction Mike Weir is going to go with this team. The Fitzpatrick brothers, one of three brother tandems playing this week. This is Alex on his first hole of the day, and that is very well done. And this is the only group that we can actually tell apart, the only tandem that we can really tell apart. I can't wait to see. The Fitzpatricks are not twins. The Cooties and the Hoygards, the two sets of twins this week, and they are tough to tell. The Hoygards can't tell each other apart. <laughs> the rumor has it they're going to be wearing the same shirt today, which... Certainly makes our job challenging. And this is Matthew Fitzpatrick now going way up on his approach. That's makeable. That's just down a little softball there. That's pretty simple. All right, Colin Morikawa now. His first birdie of the day comes at number two. Well done. And that was a moment ago. Their group has made their way to the third tee, first par three on this front side. And you talk about McElroy and Lowry. They were asked whether they're going to enjoy what New Orleans has to offer. It sounded like more on the dining side. Roy has set up a bunch of dinner reservations. And he did say, though, he may take a stroll down Bourbon Street to say he did it. I don't think he's going to take part in a whole lot going on down there. That's what I did. Yeah. I mean, we didn't, we didn't partake in the craziness but you got to go check it out because you hear stories that you can't believe they're true and they're more true than you can believe actually Bourbon Street's crazy but the, it's all about the dining experience for middle-aged folk which we constitute as these days Rasmus Hoygaard we mentioned the Hoygaard brothers the twins out on the course Rasmus solid approach here at number one my best recommendation is if you go to Bourbon Street, do not drink anything out of a glass that's made of plastic that's using a neon color and it's really dull. Stay away from that. It'll hit you like a hurricane, Dennis. Yes, it will. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Nikolai Hoygaard now. Nikolai coming off a solid performance at the Masters just a couple weeks ago. It wasn't a great lie. Uh, just didn't quite cover the number. I think he was in a small divot there. That lie just looked a little shaky. As you look at the brothers from Denmark, first brothers to win back-to-back -back events on the DP World Tour. Each of them has four international wins. 23 years old as Nikolai punched his ticket to the PGA Tour. Rasmus came up just short a year ago off the DP World Tour outside of that top 10, but he is on pace right now to certainly punch his ticket, having a great year.